Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we learned how to create MQTT clients using .NET Core by using the MQTT Net NuGet package, which will appear on the screen now. If you have not checked out that video, I would highly recommend you to check that out first as this is a continuation to that video. In the previous video, we created two MQTT clients and connected to a publicly hosted broker over unencrypted and unauthenticated port. Today, we will try to update the same clients in order to communicate over TLS. So let's get started. So here in the mosquito.org page, we can see that on port 8883 and 8884, the encrypted MQTT communication has been enabled. In order to establish the TLS-based secure and encrypted communication channel from our app, we would require certificates, which we can download from the same website and copy them in our project folder. Now that we have copied the certificates in our project folders, just make sure to update its property and set the value for copy to output directory to copy always so that the certificate gets copied always to the output bin directory from where the app can use it. Now we will have to create a TLS options instance wherein we will create a new instance of MQTT client options builder TLS parameter. Here in this class we need to set few properties such as use TLS and certificates. Use TLS as we can see is a boolean property so we need to enable it. We'll set it to true. Post that we will set the value for certificates which is a list of x509 certificates. So we will build a new list wherein we will create new x509 certificate. We will have to provide the same certificate which we have uh, downloaded from the test mosquito broker website. After building the certificate, we will set a few additional properties such as allow untrusted certificates to true. In addition to that, uh, we'll set the property ignore certificate chain errors and ignore cert revocation errors as well to true. Now coming back to the MQTT clients options builder, we will add with TLS options in which we will provide the TLS options as the parameter and we will update the existing port number to 883. Now we will do the same thing in case of the subscriber. We'll copy the same content in case of the subscriber. We'll update the port number, add the width TLS option. Provide the TLS options as its parameter and then we'll try to run the application with both the clients. Now we'll publish the same message which is hello and here we have received the same message at the subscribers end. The entire communication has happened over TLS on an encrypted secure channel over the encrypted port which is 883 using the CA certificate which we got from the test mosquito org website. The updated code will be available on my github repository and I will also provide a link in the description to the repository. To conclude this is the way in which we can establish secure TLS based communication between two MQTT clients via a mosquito broker using the CA certificate which we got from the test mosquito server website. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.